Okay, so today I am very excited. You know why? Because Fine Fine sent out their 669 microphone, USB microphone here, $30, $30. And the funny story about this thing, I was actually about to buy it. I seriously, I had it in my cart probably about a year ago when I was just starting out everything, getting some good equipment to, you know, make some better quality YouTube videos. And you know why I didn't buy it? Because I was stupid. My little brain, my little teeny brain up there thought, oh, you know what? Let me go spend $150 to get a better microphone. Now that is actually not the case. I promise this thing shocked me with what you actually get out of it. You can definitely still tell a difference between the $30 microphone and the $150 microphone. However, the $120 difference is not that much. Spoiler, I did already unbox it, sorry. And I'm actually using it right now to record so you can get, you can hear what it sounds like. But this thing is awesome. For 30 bucks, I'm telling you, this is going to get the job done. If you're just starting, Making a podcast, making a YouTube channel, using it for Microsoft Teams, Zoom, gaming with friends, all these things. This thing is the microphone for you. Now, two things I do not like is there's a heavy white noise in the background that I haven't been able to remove. And it's very sensitive, which can be a good thing, especially if you're doing ASMR. Because you could use this for Twitch and live streaming, gaming, talking with friends. But if you turn up that gain volume even just halfway, the audio just becomes unusable and you I don't think I can actually repair this. Nothing you can do about that. It's a good thing and a bad thing. Just means you gotta keep that gain volume a little lower, or actually much lower. Now the the microphone does come with a stand, which is a great benefit. You can even use it as like a little holder, a little grip to carry it around if you want to do, you know, a mobile video or whatever it is, you can use this as your microphone it does tilt, it also uh, swivels, and the actual microphone will twist, which is kind of funny. Now, if you want this uh, pop filter up here, it is actually sold separately, which is kind of a bummer, but it will help to reduce some of that clipping that I was trying to show you earlier, and some of that pss, 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 wishy-washy sounds that you'll get when you're close to the microphone. Overall, like I've said, decent mi quality microphone. Now, let's compare it to a couple other microphones that I have here. First of all, let's compare it to the Hyper X Quadcast microphone. This thing's over 100 bucks. I'm sure you've seen it on many streams with this LED, red LED. It looks really good on stream. Now, it has a, a few more features that you just can't find on the Fine Fine microphone. Uh, one of those is an actual physical Also, an audio pass-through port. So, a lot of people, if you're making a podcast, you know, or streaming, you like to monitor yourself through your headphones. So, you plug in headphones through the back of the uh, microphone, and it'll, like, add a slight delay to your voice and hear it through your microphone so you can hear what you're saying. Very nice. Uh, a lot of people, if you know what I'm talking about, good feature to have. This Fine Fine microphone does not have that. Now, if you're just using this for Microsoft Teams and stuff, you probably don't care about that. But this is what the HyperX is going to sound like versus the Fine Fine microphone over here. And let me just throw in one more into the mix. This right here is my studio microphone. You, can, you can't see it, but it's right here, right out of frame. Uh, I use this for all my videos where I'm just sitting here talking to you guys. It sounds very nice. It is the MKE 600, $350 microphone. Plus, you got to add a uh, preamp or whatever you want to call it to turn it into digital audio. So $500 total microphone there. And let's compare the Fine Realm uh, MKE 600 to Fine Fine 669 microphone. I would say, you know, there is a big difference and big price point difference between these three microphones. And why not? Let's throw in my uh, DSLR camera microphone over here. It's just so you can see what you get out of a DSLR camera. It sounds pretty decent. Fine Fine, like I've been saying, is going to get the job done. Definitely something that you should purchase if you're just starting out or just need something for Microsoft Teams, Zoom, whatever it is. Um, I can't say more about this. It's the best one there is out there for the price point. So far, I talk about the build quality. This microphone is all metal except for the plastic mounting gear. And I did want to mention you can take off the stand and mount it on a boom arm, which is probably what I would do. And it's a three-fifths inch mount, pretty universal. You can just buy like a boom arm for maybe 15 bucks on Amazon. Put it on your desk and you have your microphone just sitting there wherever you, whenever you want it. You can record vocals, of course, on this. It sounds pretty good. I did test it out, but I'm not going to share it with you because it's very bad. So if you'd like to buy either of these products, links are in the description. And thank you for watching. Peace.